Alright, what's up guys? Chucks here, welcome back to Tsukihime. Last time we left off, uh, <clears throat> having finished the true end of Hisui's route, found out Kohaku was the mastermind behind, it. well, not everything, but she had a hand in a lot of things, um, and caused Akiha's death at the end of the true, near the end of the true end, for Hisui's route, uh, <clears throat> And then repented by taking her own life. And like like I said at the end uh, last time, I guess it a good like we get a Hisui, best girl by far. But we don't get meet such to know two others and two others are dead. You know, it's a, you know I don't know I don't know if that's really a good uh, trade off. But anyway, uh, today I'm gonna be doing the good end. <clears throat> Which I believe should be right here, which should be this, yep. Uh, and I'm gonna just skip a to ahead to the next choice. Uh, because I'm probably gonna just put this at the end of the tr same part as true end. It's, which I mean, you just saw it, so there's, there's no point in seeing all this again. <laughs> um, so yeah, man, I, I, I... <sighs> It, 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 it's it's called good end, like the first two routes, and not just normal end, like uh, Akia's route. So, you know, hopefully people aren't dead, aside from you know Rawashiki. But otherwise, I'm not hoping people are are, are are all alive. If not, I'll be <clears throat> very sad. Oh God. <clears throat> Yeah, he's going on about, you know, he loves her, yada yada yada, and, you know, and bunch, bunch of BS. Alright. So, call out Kohaku's name. But you'd think calling out Kohaku's name would also distract Akiha again. That seems kind of weird. But, you know? Actually, I'm gonna save here, because... In the initial true end... Kohaku calls our name, and that distracts Akiha. I kinda... I'm gonna do the good end first, but afterwards, I'm gonna... Do the Akiha's name one... To see... So, I just wanna see something with that, but uh, anyways, do the good end first. <clears throat> Call out Kohaku's name. <laughs> also, Hanutai. Sorry. She can lunge with a cry. His black shape explodes forward like a firework. Co I can't make it from here. If there's anything that would make it, that would be... Damn. Akiha turns towards Shiki. Akiha instantly prepares for his attack. But the black figure isn't going towards Akiha. Shiki lunges not at Akiha. But at kohaku who stands next to her. Koha- He knows. Just can't be able to move right now because of Hisui's power. He knows that Akiha's overwhelming power is possible from kohaku help. kohaku get down! I shout. Like if I knew Shiki was going for Kohaku all along. I shout from the bottom of my lungs. Kohaku! <clears throat> Akiha throws her body in front of Kohaku. I don't believe it. Is she sacrificing her body to protect Gohaku-san? Okay, how is this changing anything? <laughs> Shiki raises his voice with his arms and with his arm thrusting like a spear, aims for Gohaku's face. Akiha forces herself in between them. Her timing is perfect. I don't want to look. I don't want to see Akiha die as she protects Gohaku-san. Oh! Right before it all happens, I hear a voice which I've never heard before. Kohaku-san's crying voice. How- how does that change what Kohaku wants to ha- What?
How is that meant to change anything? Also, uh, yes. Red, like, like I guess she's changing her mind and she's probably pushing Aki out of the way and just taking the hit herself, right? But why would us just saying? Co Blood drips down onto the hallway. Eh? Kohaku-san's voice almost sounds absent-minded. She has quickly pushed Akiha away. She pushed Akiha trying to protect her and threw herself in front of Shiki's claws. It's just like, how does... Right? Like, it doesn't make sense! Like, both of these things, just that and this, it's just like... <laughs> You. Shiki's voice quivers with anger. Red blood continues to flow forth. Ah, uh, no. No, Akiha. Yeah, that's weird. So he's... I didn't mean to hurt you. He shakes his head. <clears throat> In front of Shiki. Uh, okay. So Akiha did get hurt. Okay. Akiha lies collapsed. Or, okay, so probably just like, okay, yeah, 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 got it, got it, got it. <clears throat> Akiha lies collapsed, her arm coated with blood. Thanks to Kwaku-san Kusa pushing her away, it seems only Akiha's arm was shredded by Shiki's claws. <clears throat> What? What? Lying on the ground, Akiha writhes in agony, clutching her arm. Shiki stands dumbstruck, shaking as he looks down. Kohaku-san, fixated with surprise, stands there unmoving like a doll. Yeah. <clears throat> you. You bit. <laughs> I don't think I can say that. Uh, are you trying to get in my way? Shiki lifts his head. I mean, maybe a little bit. Teen, 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 bit. Kohaku-san's in front of him. Why is it? She's just standing there, not moving a muscle. As if her soul had fled her body. Conflicted. She doesn't know what to do now. <laughs> doesn't know why. Why she did what she did. You, you also get in my way. <clears throat> Shiki howls. Shiki-sama. He's through his pleading voice. She doesn't even have to tell me. Like Kohaku-san protecting Akiha. This time, I'll stop him for sure. Shiki! I run. My glass is already off. The lines of CR across his neck and from his upper left chest to his stomach. Either one will do. If I work my knife through either one, it will, sh it will surely kill him. Gripping my knife firmly, I fly down the hallway with a speed that surprises even myself. <clears throat> Shiki turns toward me. <clears throat> but I'm much faster. <gasps> His anguished cry reverberates through the hallway. <clears throat> An insane laugh. It was too shallow. How naive. In front of Akiha, I hesitated in cutting her real brother's neck. The line that runs through his body. I was only able to cut it halfway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing wildly, Shiki pulls back. Like that, he escapes towards the stairs. Following him would be easy. <clears throat> but there's something more important for me to do. Akiha! Hang in there, Akiha! Kneeling down, I look over her body. This is terrible. Her right arm is almost split in two and painted an awful crimson. 
just, I, I don't know, man. Yeah, it's just, uh, de- just a default, I suppose. <clears throat> ah, Miss. <clears throat> why is my throat? <clears> the <throat> sighing did not cooperate. Misa, why are you here? Her eyes are hazy. Her shallow breathing, her pale face. The figure of death stretches across her body. But why aren't you resting in your room? D- don't talk. We can talk about it later. For now, just don't talk. No, I won't. Nissan, how long have you been here? It's spreading. With her bleeding, her lines of death spread across her body. She shouldn't die from this. It was just her arm this time. It's alright, just be quiet. Please, I beg of you for now, just calm down, please. Okay. If you say so, then I'll be obedient, Misan. With a forced smile, Akiha closes her eye or, or her mouth. No, that. Simply put, she's so weak, she, she can't even speak. No. Wait, I'll stop the bleeding. Taking off my shirt, I wrap it around her arm. Damn, this is useless. Yeah, yeah. It's just like yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly right. It's like she should be in a state where she should be fine. Maybe not in a position to like you know continue the f- fight against Shiki, but like yeah, you think she should be okay? At least not in this dire of a strain, anyway. <clears throat> Damn, this is useless. Shit. If the bleeding doesn't stop, she'll die. Why doesn't... I frantically tie it around her arm. I know that it will not help her at all. But I can't think of anything else to do. Have her suck your blood. I know that I'm starting to go crazy. But I still cannot calm myself. Shiki-sama, please calm down. If you tie it any tighter, it will not help her. He's sweet. But... It is alright. Akiya-sama will not die. If Nissan is here, Akiya-sama will heal. Nissan, is that not right? He sweet pulls Kohaku-san, who is still standing like a motionless doll, and, s- and, sticks her- and, the- and sits her next to Akiha. Yeah. May- maybe to be safe, you should... Get on this, Hisui. Maybe, you know, just lick up a little bit of Akia's blood just to be safe and then, you know, help her a bit. Maybe. Nissan, for now, please synchronize with Akia somehow. Hisui knew she was going to try and get a- a- Akia killed. I'm sorry. Hisui what? <laughs> you destroyed everything because you wanted Akia Sama saved, is that not right? Hisui wraps both of her hands around Kwaku-san's white hand. But Kohaku-san's gaze is still empty. <clears throat> but maybe Hisui's words reach her after all. Akia's blood stops spilling forth. <sighs> oh, that was us. Whoops. I relax. Yeah, but like if she knew, why would she go along with it? Like. With this, I can be assured. It's just like, I don't know. Uh, I hope we get. I assume we'll get an explanation, maybe. The uneasiness that gripped, uh, the, uh, that gripped me before. The uneasiness that Akiha would meet the worst fate starts to gradually disappear. Akiha will be helped by Hisui and Kohaku-san. So, as Tono Shiki will have to end this. Hisui. I leave Akiha and Kohaku-san to you. Mm. 
I don't know. That that line of Hisui's kind of makes makes me think she knew. I I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Shikisama, you're still planning to go, are you not? We're the same type, he and I. The least I can do is put him to rest. Aww. Hisui wordlessly stares at me. Her eyes beg me not to go, but I can't listen to them. Thanks for everything up until now, Hisui. I'm so glad you were with me. I walk away. Feeling her watch me as I leave, I follow after Shiki. The path of blood continues. Maybe he didn't try to really escape. Or maybe he isn't even sane enough to understand what running away means. Shiki is standing in the hallway as if waiting for me. Shiki! I call out. Shiki looks over at me with his unfocused eyes. Ah, you again? Shiki doesn't move. Yeah, I... I feel like- I feel like she would've- I feel like she- I feel like if that is the case, she should've tried to warn our Shiki. I don't know. Cause she- I don't think she would want- um, Shiki doesn't move. Probably because of the wounds by me and Akia. He doesn't have a body that can move properly. Shit. Failed again. Or- Shit. Oh, okay, that's the game. Shit. I failed again. It won't work out right. Why is everything getting ruined? It won't work. It never works out right. I always mess up. That's strange. Why is she getting in my way? He... He came just like I was told. So why does he always, 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 always get in my way? Shiki's eyes are just hollow orbs. Maybe he didn't even see anyone from the very beginning? He only sees me before I'm holding my knife. It's just another obstacle. Shiki. Are you in pain? In pain? Me? Why? Shiki laughs as if it's so funny and slowly stands up. I'm not in any pain. This is a wonderful life. No matter what I do, no one can punish me. And is that what you were made to believe? Shiki's eyes burn with a desire to kill. It seems he's ready. Oh, you poor, poor man. Underneath the moonlight, even though I've known him for so long, I take my first step towards the enemy I just met tonight. Okay, it's the exact same line as from True End. Fine. Let's fight to the death. Oh, wait, right, right. Cause yeah, it's, it's, Fine. Let's fight to the death. All those who get in my way are my enemy. I'll kill you all. You, you, Akia, Kohaku. Just like that old man who wanted to lock me up till I died, I'll kill you all. Shiki screams like a raving lunatic. Maybe because that figure looks terribly pitiful. Even though this is a fight to the death, I remain cool and collected like ice. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Shiki attacks me head on. It's nothing difficult. Twishing! Like I'm cutting meat on a plate, I easily slice through Tonoshiki. Yeah. Thud. Shiki's head falls to the floor. His powerless body falls against mine. Ah, I don't feel anything. I don't feel regret, pain, hatred, or disgust. Like kohaku -san was earlier, I just stand like a doll. K -k 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 -k. An unbelievable laughing voice. Shiki's laughing head rolls on the ground. Oh. Okay. You're wonderful. This is the first time I felt this cold pain. I was thinking maybe it was Akiha, or not, 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 sorry, not Akiha, but, um, Kohaku, 
who ended up like following us or something. But no, okay. It's just his head. What a what a superb hinderer you are. Still laughing, his face dissolves into ash. Gradually it disappears into the wind. We're indoors! What wind? Also, where was he getting the, the air to, to talk? He doesn't he doesn't have lungs when he's just a head. Unless his like neck muscles were pulling air in from just the surrounding air. Okay. Shiki is disappearing. Before he does, he looks up at he looks up at me and curiously says, "So, who are you anyway?" Yeah, right. It's like it's like. Uh, so who are you anyway? Eh? Who are you? You don't know. I'm the Tono Shiki you're always targeting. Ah, I see. You're Shiki. His disappearing face. What's this? You look nothing like what I heard. With that, he completely disappears. Yeah. It's over. With this, it's over. I don't feel anything. I, don't, I won't feel those splitting headaches. I can return to life as normal. But I don't feel happy. Yeah. You can... Circumstances aside, you did kill your sort of brother, who you didn't really know, but it's whatever. And just what ended. Why? I feel dizzy. Shiki's last words won't fade away. Something did end. But I don't know what ended. Or in the beginning what I was trying to end. I look up at the moon. In the vague darkness, my heart is enthralled. Until Hisui came, I just stood in dumb amazing- uh, 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 Okay. I'm going to assume he's looking out the wind, up out the window, toward towards the moon. Yeah, that's that's what it is. I just stood in dumb amazement, standing in the moonlight. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> ah, dreams of sunshine, an epilogue. The next week passed quickly. Shiki's body vanished without a trace, and the wound in Akiya's armor. Sh you know, I wonder what must be Arkwood and CL's reactions when they could no longer feel like Roa's presence anymore. Like, because it just like up and vanished. So they're probably like, wait, wait, what? Wait, wait, I, I can get hurt now. So, this, this CL, like. What? Huh? <laughs> the punch like, who the fuck? Who, who did it? Who, who did it? Cause like, they're probably under the assumption that there's no one in this town who could, other than them, who could beat Roa. And in CL's case, she can't, probably can't, well, I don't know, that's hard to say. But. Shiki's body vanished without a trace. I... Again, I know they're not supposed to... I, I hope they have a little bit of shot. Like, Arkwood and CL have a bit more shine in Farside and the... Wow, what's the part two it makes supposed to be called? Like, Blood Red Moon or something like that? I hope they get more of a... Like, obviously, like, they're not huge roles, but I, I I hope they get tiny little, um, snippets compared to others. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, just, just to, like, fill out the story a bit, because, like, I feel like, I feel like Nasu recognizes the fact that them not really appear, I mean, CL appears, but them having very minimal presence is kind of a it 
a kind of a, 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 a plot hole, kind of a little bit. I'm sure he recognizes that and is probably gonna fix that. So we'll see. Shiki's body vanished, vanished without a trace, and the wounded Akiya's arm was treated. Even though my place as Tonoshiki became vague, I can't go back to being the Nayashiki. I don't know if she understands my feelings or not about it, but Akiya hasn't, Akiya hasn't said one word about that night. If Akiya, the head of the household, is going to play dumb, then I think I can continue, I can continue to, then I can continue my life as Tonoshiki. The peaceful days have returned. Since Shiki disappeared, all my strength returned, and Akiya is healing well too. Oh! He's probably sucking less out of Akiha now, too, since he's not losing stuff to Shiki. Because, like, Akiha was giving our Shiki, like, half her life. And we were giving, I mean, near the end of that, over half our life to Shiki. So it's like... Hmm. Akiha's healing well, too. Kohaku started and he to go back to their regular duties at the mansion, and there isn't a trace of uneasiness. I want to, I want to believe that there isn't. Oh, but we still figured it out, didn't we? And we're gonna have to talk to Kohaku. Nissan, it's noon already, Nissan. I hear a voice. Jeez, even though it's not, it's so nice outside. Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> Jeez. If you know it's so nice outside, please do not sleep in such a place. If you want to take a nap, do so in your room. Fingers tap my shoulder. Mm. With that, I wake from my dream. Yo. <laughs> morning, Nakia. Don't say morning. Come to the city room and sit on to sleep. Just what were you thinking, Nissan? Well, I was thinking about this and that. Giving a deep sigh, I get up from the sofa. Hey, wait a minute, Nissan. Are you going to actually go? Uh, are you going to actually go sleep in your room? Well, you just told us to do that, yeah. So yeah. Hey, don't you think you should, you should actually do something more worthwhile on a day off? Nah. To give you examples, like going out to deepen bonds with family members, or, or invite them out to have fun of, out of gratitude. Gratitude. What do we have to be grateful towards you for? I think what Aki has said is worth... ...is worthwhile is very limited. Well, I do think so. It's just that what you think is worthwhile is different from what I think is worthwhile. Sleeping twice would just be a waste. The reason why I want to go to my room is simple. It takes a lot of effort to face you right after waking up. <laughs> whoa, whoa! Uh, after, right after waking up. So I thought it, so I thought it would refresh my head in my own room. <laughs> what, what is that supposed to mean, Nissan? Nothing. I just can't answer to all of you. To all your little scolding, my head's still dozy. Oh! I'm just, I'm just going to my territory to regroup. That's all. We can talk more during lunch. Waving, I turn away. <laughs> Akiha watches me silently. But her face tells me she wants to complain. It looks like I'll have to be ready during lunchtime. Yeah, you're gonna get an earful. <clears throat> I come to my room. While I was dozing in the sitting room, it looks like he sweet cleaned my room. But this really is a dull, uh, a dull room if I have to say it myself. Other than a bed and a desk, the room is completely empty. It's close to winter, so I should probably get some heating equipment. Yeah, it's an old mansion. It probably doesn't have like central heating or anything. Aki is pretty noisy about it, but I would never feel like he's in a fireplace. Yeah, I... I would not trust a fireplace, an indoor fireplace especially, to be going at nighttime. 
Hmm? What's this on the desk? Oh, it's it's in verse this time. In, uh, in true end, we, we the, we're the ones that leave a, a letter for her, Kohaku, and here, she's the one leaving a letter for us. A letter I don't remember about his place there. I'm curious, so I opened it up. The letter just says, I'm waiting underneath that tree. Why? Saying that, I crumble the paper. Opening the drawer. I put the knife with the engraving, the Natsuyoru, in my pocket. Yeah, I was right. We, we He did still figure it out. He just decided to leave it alone since Akio was alive. With the knife with the engraving, the Natsuyoru, in my pocket. I can't pretend like I didn't see it. Taking a deep breath to compose myself. I leave my room. I don't know when I realized it. It all started when I thought that everything turned out pretty conveniently. The happenstances and circumstances surrounding the connection between Shiki and I were too convenient. Shiki had his lair at my school, but he, had ne but he never attacked me, his most hated enemy. If Shiki had ever felt like it, I, prob I probably would have been killed a long time ago. You, you, oh, wait. I just thought about it. Do you think that the reason he ended up coming and attacking us after the Shmenti scene in Akia's route is because Kohaku saw us and because she wanted to be the one in love with Shiki, she sicked other Shiki on us? Like, prematurely? I can only think that things ended this way because someone ready the convenient plot. When I get there, she's waiting with her usual smile. True. You think she son? I don't know, I, I, I guess it could, could go either way. But... Mm. <laughs> I've been waiting since morning, but it's noon already. Yeah, sorry. I fell asleep in the sitting room and she got back to my room. I see. I messed up. I know I should have told you directly. That may be true. I nod. She smiles at me. But it's good you came. And now we can talk, just two of us. Oh, I... You know, as, as angry as I am with her, with what she did... Or with, you know, everything she did, I guess. I really hope we're able to stop her from seppukuing this time. <clears throat> but, I don't know. She smiles happily. Also, don't tell me uh, either way. I, uh, you know. The smile on her face, she begins to speak like it's nothing. You realized it, didn't you, Shiki-san? I can't nod or shake my head. I knew it, she laughs. Shiki-san, I was the one who made Shiki-sama like that. That. I gave Akia some of my blood so that she would turn more into one of the tonal blood. With that. I was when I gave Shiki some of my wrong information and made him attack innocent people. I didn't want her to say it. Yeah, in this in this version of things, he just wanted to let everything, uh you know, live and let live, cause Akia was alive, but she took that uh she took that choice out of our hands. When we were small, the one who was always watching from the distance wasn't he sweet, it was me. Gohaku-san. Back then, I intentionally distracted Akiya-sama so that Shiki-sama could have an opening.
Wait, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't question this last time, but like... Is she referring to at the school, or...? Is she talking about way back? Cuz... Hmm, I don't know. Kohaku. But I really messed up. Akiya-sama and Shiki-sama were supposed to die there. Okay. See, but it's, it's weird though. Cuz like... You, she could have snuck out, but the, the, no, the reason. Yeah, yeah, like, I don't know, you're missing my point. I just. The reason I. I say that. Is cause. I mean, I guess it's just one of those things where. They just. Fudged the writing a little bit. Because she didn't. Do anything to distract Akiha in this one. And as for, as for back then, she could have easily, like, opened a window and shouted or something. Or, like, maybe snuck out, or, like, you know, because, like, you know. No, that's my whole point, is that she didn't actually distract her in this version. Uh, but I really messed up. I can't stop my cheeky son was supposed to die there. Haku! Looking down, all I could do is shout her name. It's fine. Or, or that, well, that was us. It's fine. Shiki-san? It's fine. All of it is over, so I don't want to hear that kind of story. Those words are truly how I feel. Such a reality. It's better if I don't realize it. Goaku-san can just be Goaku-san. Ah, a little too late now. Always smiling. Thinking of he's sweet dearly. Being such good friends with Akiha. And laughing when we talk about stupid things. I want Goaku-san to stay like that. I, I don't care about all that. You can just be here and it'll be fine. an answer. A long, painful silence. No, that won't do, Shiki-san. <clears throat> what I did can't be ignored like that, uh, like that. I failed. I've lost the reason that moved me these past years. So this Gohaku would just disappear. What? I lift my head. Over there. She looks like she always does. But I thought you had the right to blame me. You're the only one who's not connected with the Tono House. I used you in my plot against Akiya so much, Shikisama. So if you wish to blame me, you can do whatever you like. The right. No one has the right to blame you, Kohaku-san. That's right. Ever since she was a small child and came to this mansion, she had to receive all of the crimes of Tono Makisa. She couldn't ask for help. Nobody helped her. If she lived that life for years, then that's... If you want to talk about rights, you, ha you had to have every right to take revenge. I can only imagine what happened to you. But you only could hold nothing but a grudge against the Tono family. I know that I'm just sounding clever, but I say those unsatisfactory lies. No, I didn't have a grudge against Makisa some or some at all. And so what I did wasn't revenge. I just thought that was what a human would have done. Only for my sake, I put Akiya someone or Makisa someone and Shiki someone a trap, and tried to get Akiya someone dead too. That was all I had. There really weren't any feelings behind it. Her smile doesn't fade. But that's a lie. If that's true, then I, I would have hated her from the bottom of my heart. No, that's wrong. Kohaku-san, you just want to think that. If that was true. 
Then why did you protect Akiha? Kohaku-san, you had emotions. You liked Akiha, so you destroyed your own plan yourself. Oh, Shiki's forced here to, uh, think about unpleasant things. Like having emotions, that's an unpleasant thought, right? <laughs> For just an instant. She lowers her glance just a little bit, and smiles again. And that's right. I destroyed my own plan. I realized Shiki-sama would have uh, killed me back then. I made it so that only one of us would stay alive after that. But why did we both end up surviving? She seemed troubled as she says this, and her smile returns. It threw me off for a second, because there was no, uh... Fucking, I'm forgetting what the fucking symbol is called. The, 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 the quotation mark. It's not there at the end of it. That's simple. It's because you wanted Akiha to live, and you wanted to stay alive too. Then, everything's alright. Even though you planned it all, I'm happy. Akiha's still alive, and you're still alive. That makes me really happy. Is that... not enough for you, Kohaku-san? Tears come out as I say so. I can't stop my feelings, which are more full of regret than pity. I already understand that this person will not return. Since then, from the time she protected Akiha, she became broken and couldn't come back. I understand that too well. Shigisan, are you crying? That's stupid, crying over a doll in the play that broke. <sighs> I mean... Didn't she say something similar to that in True End? Like, right at the end? No. Yes, it really is stupid. Hey, Shiki-san. I said that I didn't hate anyone. But there is one person I hated. You understand, right? I think I hate... Okay, in true end, he said that Kohaku wanted to love us. But, okay. You understand, right? I think I hated you. Yeah, it's just like... Uh. Because if you weren't there, I could've just stared out the window without even thinking. Okay. Smiling, she turns away, right. Her sleeves flutter like uh, butterfly wings. My legs want to dash forward. But I can't move. Even one step. I feel that if I move one step towards her, something will happen that I can't take back. You're the only one I hated. Everyone else I neither liked nor, nor hated. I lost those emotions. So, saving Akiyasawa was only an accident. Her figure starts to become hazy. Uh... Kohaku-san. I have a bad feeling about this. I can't place it, but I have a terrible feeling. Yeah. I can, I can see that. Def definitely... Definitely similar to a Sakura vibe. Then... Nesan. A voice calling for her echoes through the air. Isui? Isui-chan? Our voices overlap. Gasping for breath, Isui looks directly at her. Isui-chan, why? Her voice is shaking. Cause she's your sister and she cares. Taking it, she looks sharply at her. Lies. With a short, strong voice. Wait! Wait, is this implying that Hisui was there when Kohaku killed herself in True End? Because if she heard this, then she was listening in, right? So she might have... Ooh...
Oh my. With a short, strong voice, he Sui says so. Everything you say are lies, Nesan. That's the thing, right? Is would she have? Because if Kohaku wanted to die, would he Sui stop her from? Fulfilling what she went out to do? Like, I don't know if she would have. Because she. Because he so he seemed okay with letting things play out with Akiha dying. Because she knew what Kohaku was up to. So it's like. I don't know. Everything you saved lies, Nissan. You saved Akiha sama back then because you like her. And I know you can't hate Shiki sama. I hear a sharp gasp. Still turned around. She looks extremely frightened. Is that not right? You played my role so you cannot hate Shikisama. You played the role of Hisui from, uh, from back then. So you love Shikisama and tried to protect Akiya-sama. You're not an empty human like you think you are. Hisui's voice hangs in the air. Kohaku doesn't turn back and just answers no. Yeah, it's... Mm. Jeez. Hey, jeez. If you had never slept in the sitting room, then Hisu chan would not- would never- would never- never would have noticed. Oh. Or maybe not? Shiki-san, you really do throw all my plans into disarray. Still facing the other way, she laughs. Maybe not, I guess not. Okay. I don't know. She holds up a finger to her mouth. That's like twice in the last two streams where like I say something and then immediately th the game says something answering it like what uh, okay <laughs> Gulp I hear the sound of something being swallowed Did she just take cyanide? I run But I don't make it in time before I can reach her, she collapses to the ground, coughing up blood. Thud. A hard, sickening noise. Still smiling, she drips red blood from her mouth. Nissan. Isui holds her. But that... No matter who looks at it, it's already too late. Oh. That's fucking sad. <sighs> no. Nesan. Nesan. Cradling the unmoving girl's head, Hisui frantically calls out. I want to say it's slightly better, but is it really? I mean, Akia's alive, yeah, but like... It seems her feelings overflow like the blood pouring from Kawaku's mouth. Her mouth opens and closes over and over. Nissan. Nissan, hold on. A desperate cry. Seeing that... The girl smiles like a child. Huh? Don't do that, Hisui chan. Crying like that. It feels like back then. But, Nissan, why? Yeah, because if I don't do so, you won't be able to return to the way you were. Her words in pieces, and with glazed eyes, she speaks to Hisui. Nissan. He sweeps face contorts in grief. Her tears flood her face. Why? That's fine. I was okay with the way I was. 
If you were happy, then I was happy. I... I was always protected by you, so... I was always happy. Painfully, she swallows her last words. She couldn't lie like that, because she wasn't always happy. Why? You should have stayed like he's... Why? Uh, why? You should have stayed like he's, sweetie, son. Like he's, sweet. The one you admired long ago. So why... Why are you returning it to me now? A tear falls. Maybe Hisui's tears caused that. She nods quietly. That's... that's right. I really had fun. It was all just an act, but it was really fun, Hisui-chan. So I hoped... Hisui-chan, you were having fun too. Her blood drips out. As she speaks, blood dribbles out of her mouth. Nissan, Hang on, Nissan. This... this can't be. Why... why do you have to die, Nissan? There's... there's no reason for you to die, Nissan. Isui's voice can no longer reach her. Her chest rising and falling. She just looks up the deep, deep blue sky. It's pretty. I can never go outside. But I always remember the color of the sky. Nissan, Nissan. Just those little things are my days. He's so chance Shikisan Nakia san over there. And there was such a pretty sky overhead. Yeah, I can't remember too well. Those fun things are starting to disappear. Her energy drains away. The remaining light in her eyes is disappearing. that. I could not let it be. Oh. Is he gonna kill the poison? I take out my knife. My glasses are already... Okay. I wanna see how the fuck he's gonna pull this off. My glasses are already off. All that is left. Shiki-sama, what are... Isui holds on to me. I'm going to save Kohaku-san. Please be quiet and trust me. Okay, he's gonna he's gonna kill the poison apparently. I pull free and look hard at her body. Just like the time with Yumizuka. That time I found Yumizuka's polluted blood and killed it. I, so I should be able to kill the poison she drank. <laughs> yeah, but like, uh, th uh, th at least blood was something like biological that. I, you know, I guess. How are you gonna kill? I mean, I guess the AC kills inanimate objects all the time. But, I, I don't know. Gah! Or, gah! The headache gets worse. It feels like someone is stabbing my skull with a knife. It's so bad, I wanna close my eyes. I guess looking at something wrong in someone else's body is difficult. Yeah? The pain warns me that this is surpassing the limits of my ability. Ah, ah, ah. My breathing explodes into harsh gasping. Bubbles escape from my open mouth. My entire world is red. As if all my bodily fluids turned into poison. My body is burning from the inside. Ah, ah. Yeah, but still. Huh? I stare at it, not caring if I go blind. My senses disassociate. My world becomes a white sheet. As the sound of my blood vessels burning away roars in my ears, I quickly, before I'm unable to move, find the poison in her body and kill it. Okay. How he stabbed both himself and Kohaku without leaving wounds? You know, I don't know, but <clears throat> the first scenery I've seen in a few days is white, exa is white examination room. Okay. 
All set. <coughs> All set. Seems like you're fine, Shikun. I don't see any cloudiness, and your condition shouldn't return. You can go back to your normal life now. The doctor continues scribbling away, as he's done these past few days. His face, which I see for the first time, looks somewhat kind. Well then, take care. Yeah, but don't strain yourself for a while. You always seem to push yourself too hard. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of odd, but... I understand. Thank you so much for your help. I bow with heartfelt thanks. And I stand up from the chair. I go out into the hallway. In the waiting room is Hisui. Not having seen her face in days, I wave to her excitedly. You know... It's a good question. <laughs> Hisui quickly runs to my side to support me. <sighs> well then, shall we go? We can make uh, we can make Kohaku-san starting today, right? Hisui nods. She was probably put in a psych hospital, right? Um, Shiki-sama, is your body really okay? Hisui looks up at me, full of worry. Hey. Doctor's a person who can't let unhealed people go free. <laughs> I mean, if I get to leave the hospital, that means I'm fine. I'm used to being in hospitals, so trust me. <laughs> it's not a good thing. Yes, that is why I worry. <laughs> there never was an instance where you would come back from the hospital fully healed. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> he, so he really talks a lot now. Well, that's the truth, so I can't disagree. Yeah. Anyway, I finally got those bandages off my eyes. I can see your face, my body is healed, so there's no more problems. Come on, let's go see Kohaku-san. Pulling Hisui, who's still wanting to say something, I walk towards Kohaku-san's room. Okay, uh, I, uh, sure, oh, it's fine, fine, yeah, uh, I mean, sure, yeah. Uh, just skip over that, okay? After that, after seeing me plunge my knife into Kohaku-san, he sweet panicked. But after seeing that Kohaku-san's body wasn't harmed, that her breathing returned after that, and seeing me collapsing, he sweet ran to save all of us, even though she was still in a panic. As a result, Kohaku-san was saved. I fell into a condition where my eyes would not function in addition to the decrease of my physical body strength. Well, I somehow understood that I went blind. Um, when I stabbed my- when I stabbed my knife into her body, the only thing I was able to see were those lines. So when I was told I went blind, it didn't shock me that much. But then my sight came back shortly after. <laughs> The examination revealed absolutely nothing wrong with my eyes, but only problems with my nerves. Rather than my cut nerves connecting themselves, it seems that it's more like the nerves which were numb healed up. It's good. It's good. It's always good. Always good. Not being blind is good. It seems like my eyes will not go blind that easily. Like, you have to see death. We won't let you... Ignore us. I don't know. <clears throat> or it might be that even if I do go blind, I'll still see those lines. Well, those are trivial matters. True. The important fact is that Kohaku-san and I were saved. But Kohaku-san wasn't fully saved. She was able to recover. But in turn, she lost something. Shiki-sama. Eh? Uh, yeah, go ahead. I think it's probably better if you went in first. Oh, okay, so we, we are at the hospital still. He was just flashing back. Yeah. After answering yes, she knocks on the door. A voice tells us to come in and we enter the room. Uh, 
this is our room from the beginning of the, the very beginning of the game. Uh, Kohaku-san's the only one in the room. She sits up in bed and looks at Hisui and I. Kohaku-san isn't smiling. With uneasy eyes, she looks at her guests. Was her mind, like, wiped? Um, may I please ask who you are? With those words, Isui's shoulders shake a bit. Yeah. The mental trauma with everything she went through and then dying, yeah, I... I guess it makes sense that her, uh... She'd want to forget. I'm, I'm assuming it's a psychological reason for her forgetting, not physical, anyway. We've come to see how you are doing. Please excuse us, Nissan. <sighs> yeah. Kohaku-san looks at Hisui with surprised eyes after she hears the word Nissan. Hisui sits down next to Kohaku-san. I don't want to be in the way, so I sit down on a chair by the wall. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Kohaku-san looks uneasily back and forth between Hisui's face and mine. Um, I'm sorry. It's a bit strange. I feel that I do know both of you, but I cannot remember either of you. Her voice sounds very apologetic. This isn't a joke or anything, and she really does mean those words. There's some problem with her memory. I think I was told so before by Hisue. The Kohaku-san was no longer the Kohaku-san from before. No, it's not quite right. The system of the brain can be divided, divided into four functions. Recording, preserving, playback, and recognition. And it seems like Kohaku-san has something wrong with her, preser uh, with her preserving function. The doctor said that she could return to her normal lifestyle, but she can't remember most of her past. It isn't so much that she can't remember, rather, it's more like she lost it. The preservation of her memory is up until now. All that information was lost, so there's nothing to remember. Yeah. So Kohaku-san can't remember me, uh, remember me or Hisui. Having Gohaku-san return to the way she was before really is a hopeless dream. I mean, it's probably for the best that she doesn't have to remember everything that happened to her and the fact that she thought of herself as a doll. It's probably the best. I don't know if it was a near-fatal shock from the poison or if Gohaku-san closed it off herself. But I know that the Gohaku-san has the, the body and the heart she had before. But she's forgotten all about me, Hisui, and Akiha. Um... Kohaku-san looks up at Hisui. Yes. Hisui answers, and Kohaku-san hesitantly starts to speak. Your face is the same as mine. Might I ask who you are? Hisui's body freezes. But that's just for an instant. With a light smile, Hisui holds Kohaku-san's hand. I am your little sister, Hisui. Hisui-chan? She manages to let this response out. That's probably the most cruel response she could have given. Yeah, because that's how she called her before. But Hisui still smiles gently and answers yes. I'm so sorry. I do not remember anything about you, Hisui Chen, or that person over there. <sighs> I'm a little scared. I don't remember anything about you, Hisui Chen. Maybe there must be something wrong with me. Downcast, Kohaku-san looks like a lost child. Her face clouds over, and her eyes are uneasy. She's not like Kohaku-san. But still, Isui grips her hand tightly. No, do not worry, Nissan. No matter how uneasy you are, I will always be with you. Like how you always protected me. I will always, always protect you from now on, Nissan. 
Kohaku-san's face is pure bewilderment. Yeah, hearing that when you don't remember anything is probably like, wait, what? After looking at Hisui in surprise, Kohaku-san thanks her. Eh, uh, yes. Looking down in embarrassment, Hisui mumbles a response. Um, is there anything you need? Like something to eat or something you want? Kohaku-san says yes, and nods with her eyes in response to Hisui's attempt to hide her shyness. There isn't anything I want to eat, but there's something I want. Can I ask you? Kohaku-san doesn't look at just at Hisui, but looks at me sitting by the wall too. Uh, yes. Or, or that's- uh, damn it! Yes, what is it, Nason? I think I never liked the name Kohaku. So, I want- oh. I can already tell where this is going. So, I want a new name. Name? I wonder why. When she says that, only one name comes to me. Oh, oh, I didn't see where this is going. That name has been discarded and only remains in memories. Shikisama. Hisui turns to me. Is she thinking of the same thing? She looks at me as if she wants to, uh, as if she wants confirmation. Hmm. I nod in response. Hisui turns back to Kawakusan and. How does Nania sound? Tells her so. Nania. Kohaku-san murmurs it as if testing the sound. Right after, she lifts her face up as if she remembers something. Yes, I think I like the sound of that. It seems awfully nostalgic for some reason. Saying that, she smiles. Her usual smile that blossoms like a rose. Finally, for the first time since she's awakened, she smiles happily. I feel like ju just like Nana would have been better, but. Mm -hmm. The two of them talking looks perfectly natural. Naturally, the two of them peacefully pass the time as sisters. I don't know if her losing her memory was good or bad. I think for her psyche going forward, probably good. Since all of her memories were painful. Maybe it was a good thing that it happened. Yeah, but it's also a semi-common name in Japan. As well, not just a manga. <laughs> uh, because from now on... Oh, maybe it's a good thing that it happened because from now on there'll be nothing but happiness. Oh, I hope so. I hope so. Forgetting all the sorrowful incidents, she can earn a normal happiness. But, looking at this blue sky, I just can't help but think back. That young girl standing by the window. I know that the past for her is something to be forgotten about. But still, if I could, I wanted that Kohaku son to become happy. That would have been good too, if that broken girl was able to find happiness without having to forget, but it's probably, I don't, I don't know, who's to say which way would have been better, I, I, I don't know, but that's a wish that can no longer be granted, so I just have to end that wish right now. Underneath that longed-for blue sky, I imagine for the last time, her carefree smile like a lingering flower. <sighs> Shiki-sama, may I please have a moment? After we leave the hospital, Isui suddenly asked me that question. 
Eh? Sure, what is it? Yes. We still have time, so somewhere I wish to go. Somewhere you wish to go? Mm, they were orphans, right? Maybe an orphanage? That they lived at? Not understanding, I tilt my head. Come on, let's go, Shiki-sama. Kisui pulls my hand forcefully and starts running. This is very... Actually, no, this is very... This is very much Kisui-like. At least old, very, very, very old Kisui. Um... Is this the field... You know, Hisui and, um, Nanaya have shockingly similar hair to one Aozaki Aoko, don't they? Hmm. She takes me to a grassy plain outside of the city. Autumn's ending and the sky is deep. The wind that blows through the flowers and onto our faces seems to blow through our hearts. Isui? Why did you want to come here? Yeah, no, that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's what made me think. I don't know, they just, they, don't, they have similar hair to Aoka, I don't know. Hmm, who knows? To be honest, there really isn't a reason. It's just that when we were coming to the hospital, I saw this field from the train. Isui says this trivially as she stands by my side. I don't get it. This is a nice place, but it doesn't seem that special. If you wanted to play, we should go to another... No. This is the right place to visit. I wanted to come not somewhere in the city, but somewhere quiet and beautiful. And that makes me feel positive. I don't know, man. It's not... I was thinking... <laughs> Children? I don't, I don't know. Oh, sure. Yeah, no, no. It's, I don't, it's, it's, yeah, I don't know. It just felt like too much of a coincidence that, uh, she would bring us to this field where we were with Alco and they have similar hair color. I don't know. I don't know, man. A place where you could return, uh, return to your usual self. With a light smile, she looks up at me. My usual self. You sweet? Yes. Well, when you were in the hospital room, you looked so depressed. I understand how you feel, and I'm glad you feel that way. But that's not what Nissan wanted. Isui reaches out. She lightly places her hands on mine. Is that not right? I think it is better if you cheer up. Hey, Shiki-sama. You, you may not have realized it, but you smell like sunshine. a shiki someone that I like and will always like. Her eyes look at me directly. Those eyes, those, those eyes are really kind and optimistic. I mean, I feel like in this case it's more like regressed. Because she was like this when she was a very, very small child. But, yeah. Isu is the one that smells like sunshine. Eight years ago. It feels like we returned to that time when Akiha and I and her would run around the garden. But from from what we knew about previously, prior to obviously learning that she was the energetic one, then yeah, yeah, she has she has come a long way. Yet, also not. 
Uh, feels like we returned to that time when Aki had I and Tara would run around the garden. Really? I think I'm the gloomy one if you ask me. Wait. Uh... Oh, okay. You're just someone who doesn't start conversation that much. But to me, no, to us, you like this open field. Her fingers move. I feel her squeeze me tighter. So there. Please don't make that face, Shikisama. Akiya-sama was saved, and even Nis- and even Nesan was saved. There's no reason for you to be sad. Nesan is still alive. But I'm sure she'll return to the way she was someday. And even if not, I will make her many times happier. You don't have- you don't have time to be sad. Because we have to help Nesan and Akiya-sama be happier from now on. Whew. What she's saying is fairly preposterous. So I wonder why. After hearing those words, I feel a ray of light shining into my gloomy heart. That's right. I'm her big brother, so it's only, so it's only natural uh, to do such a thing. Uh, yeah. Isui nods. Yeah. It might be hard, but we have to do it. Because I want them to be happy too. Yes. I know you can do it. Nodding strongly, she holds my hand against her chest. I can feel her heartbeat. The delicate warmth of her body serenely blows like the wind through the grass into my own heart. Besides, if you did not cheer up, I'd be very troubled. Why? I ask. Hisui's cheeks flush, but she still looks directly at me. You are the only one who can make me happy. I want to always be put in your side. Always be near your sunshine. She stands on her tip on her tiptoes to kiss me. Oh, no CG of that. Frick you, game. The sky is high. Underneath that sky, where there's no sadness, I receive the warmth of the one I love the most. From the field is the gentle smell of the sunshine. Yeah, Isui's words are exactly right. We lost a lot, but we haven't lost everything. The days will still go on into the future, and we have to go on and try our best to make everyone to make everyone live happily. Thanks, Isui. Holding her delicate body, I close my eyes. Tears flow down my cheeks, but there's no sadness. Life itself is fun enough. I've known that for a long time. I'm sure, like, because there have been a couple times throughout where I was like, man, no CG for that. I, f I feel like that, I feel like that add CGs to, like, all those times. Or heck, they'll probably be... I mean, I assume at least the first remake was also in the, f more like the style of, uh, at least Fate. Where whenever, but there's almost always someone, I don't know, always someone on screen. I don't know, actually. Well, ideally, something like, because like Mahoyo is like, there's always like stuff going on on screen, right? I think. So hopefully, it's more like in the style of that, but we shall see. Uh, life itself is fun enough. I've known that for a long time. Then, holding Hisui's hand, I walk on and have no regrets. Ah, uh, that it? <sighs> okay, this, this and CL's good end are like my top two. With CL true and Arkwood good immediately following. And then the others can suck my ass. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready, man. I'm just Mahoyo this winter and Suki. 
eventually. <laughs> um, but yeah. I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna let this run out. Yeah, again, like I said, I think, I'm pretty sure Hisui is my favorite. Uh, of the girls. Like, okay, okay, no, I shouldn't say the true end can, yeah. I, cause I, I do, I do like how crazy true end was, and, uh, the fact that kind of, like, explained a lot of things, but I don't like that two of them died. Like, I feel like I could have rated it, like, again, I think it's probably at the top of my disliked ones, or top as in it's my most liked out of my disliked ones, but... I feel like it would have gotten more points if only Kohaku died or only Akiha died. The fact that they both died. Like, I get Akiha, or not Akiha, sorry, Kohaku makes sense at that point. She's done everything, and even after trying to find something else to live for, she just couldn't. Like, it's a, it's a good ending, but it's not something I can rate as, like, being my one of my favorites, if that makes sense. Like, it's good, but not favorite-worthy, if that's understandable. But... Yeah... Me... Alright, I'm gonna update my... Twitch title and whatnot, because I'm gonna hop on Hollow here once this is done. Going up. Uh, I feel like Truant is this. Yeah, be... hmm. Nice build, that's okay. Yeah. But like, it's almost a good thing, cause like, point, like, yeah, like it hits you in the gut, and you're like, wait, so many things about that didn't make sense before in other routes make sense now, <laughs> because we know that Kohaku is probably like the one behind it. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. You've reached Shisui's good ending. Well done. Each heroine, with one exception, has two different kinds of endings. A true ending and a good ending. I wonder if they're gonna add another ending to Kohaku's route in the uh, remake, actually. Because I assume Kohaku only has one ending. Because it was like added at the very end, they didn't have time to write another one. So I wonder if the remake will give her a second ending. Yeah, and it's all. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. This this is new. Hang on. Seal Sun, I also have something I must impart. Oh, oh, the row? Seal Sun. And I also have something I must impart. Huh? Professor Roa? This is rare indeed for you to come to a place like this. This circumstance is unique. I will get to the point right away. Now that you have cleared Hisubi-san's route, there should be another choice for you on the first day. This is the unlocking of the last route in Tsukihime. Well, even if I don't tell you this, it's very clear if you go to the graphic mode. Yeah, because we, uh, we have a bunch of graphics missing, still. That's right. Well, the, oh, that's right. Well then, please continue on and, and enjoy Tsukihime. Alright. But, uh... That's gonna do for that, though. I'm gonna do a 
few games of Hollow Key. I, I honestly have no idea why Ro was there. I was like, oh, okay. I guess, um, I, I don't know. I do not know, but... I guess he just felt the need to inform us that there was a new choice. I, I, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Uh, a final numerical score? Um... Probably like, uh... I mean, that was a lot missing, like, action-wise. It felt pretty... It felt like a lot of the story was kind of given... Well, but no, because no, we did get some of the story at the beginning with, like... The stuff with, like, Hisui and Kohaku a little bit. Mainly Kohaku, but... I don't know, like, uh... Ah, God damn it. Uh, sorry. Like a 9 out of 10, maybe. Oh, uh, so why is the game super quiet? Uh, on full screen. Oh, right, yeah, because my volume is still low from Tsukime. I'd say like a, like 8, 9, somewhere in there. But, uh, yeah. I... Where Hisui is my favorite girl, I wouldn't say... Her route wasn't my favorite. 